Hi guys, welcome back to the gaming channel where we're not good gamers, we're just good people who play games. Today, we are going to try out the latest game from EA, Battlefield 5. This game will be releasing on the 20th of November, but if you pre-order the Deluxe Edition, you will have early access and can start playing it on the 15th of November. Battlefield 5 is the 16th installment in the Battlefield series where the first Battlefield game, Battlefield 1942, came out in 2002. This series focuses on large online multiplayer battles where you can have up to two teams of 32 players fighting against each other. Here are the classes you can find in the game. There are four main classes in Battlefield 5. There's an Assault, Medic, Support, and Recon. Playing as an Assault, you are equipped with anti-tank explosive and your role in the team is to take down enemy's armored vehicles. Now moving on to Medic. As the class suggests, Medic specializes in providing heals for your teammates. Your main kit allows you to give teammates bandages to heal up and upon reaching Medic rank 4, you can drop a medical crate which provides a fixed healing position for your team. The additional advantages for Medics are having the ability to revive teammates at a faster speed and the ability to revive anybody on the battlefield. Medic mainly uses submachine guns as their main weapon. Now for support, they are equipped with machine guns and shotguns. Similar to the Medic, support classes provide ammo and ammo crates for teammates which can be crucial in the battle as ammo is scarce in the game. And if you run out of ammo, you have to get your ammo at fixed supply stations. To save the hassle, the support class will definitely make your life easier in the game. Lastly, Recon specializes in long-range combat. Their main weapon is the sniper rifle. Recon uses spotting scope and flare guns to reveal enemies for the team. The intel provided by Recon's kit could be very useful and if your team capitalizes on the intel received, it could be a deadly tool. And as you play the game, you will rank up each class level individually and the higher your rank, you will unlock more weapons and gadgets to customize your favorite class setup. Now moving on to the different game modes that Battlefield 5 has. Firstly, the multiplayer. Battlefield 5 has a new game mode called Grand Operations. In this mode, players will play a maximum of 4 fictional in-operation days where each day is represented by a round played on a combination of a map and mode that brings the narrative to life. The actions that you, your squad, and your whole team take on day one will have a direct impact on the narrative and gameplay start of day two, which in result will impact day three and so on. We tried playing this mode and it was massive. The whole game lasted around about an hour and you will play three different rounds in three different modes with different objectives and if there's no winner after the third round, the two teams will enter the fourth and final round which is called the final stand. In this round, players only have one round of magazines for their gun and there are no respawns which means both teams only have one chance to make a difference. There are also other multiplayer modes available like Conquest, Dominations, Frontlines and Team Deathmatch. If you want to enjoy a more infantry focused game mode without all the heavy hitting tanks and airships, these modes are there for you. For single player, Battlefield 5 includes a game mode called War Stories. You can explore stories inspired by real places and events from World War II. We have played through one of the war stories called Under No Flag and it takes place in 1942 Northern Africa. Players assume the role of a special boat service operative, Billy Bridger, who has been tasked to destroy enemy air bases across the continent. The narrative, graphics and emotions are amazing and I was left in awe upon finishing it. And not to mention, Battlefield 5 has also jumped onto the bandwagon and got themselves their very own battle royale mode called Firestorm. It has been a wild ride ever since the Battle Royale game mode burst into the gaming community and we can't wait to get our hands dirty with Battlefield 5's own Battle Royale. Sadly, Firestorm is not available at launch. It is expected to be out in March 2019. Battlefield 5 have implemented something called Tides of War whereby they will continue to push out new game updates every now and then. New maps, new war stories, and as mentioned, Firestorm are all in the pipeline for Battlefield 5. Now let's talk about the few unique game mechanics of Battlefield 5. In multiplayer, once you spawn into the game, you are only given one single heal per life. If you have used up your heal, you would have to look for health supplies at fixed medical stations, which is marked as this icon around the map. However, the medic class will have unlimited heals, which makes this a crucial part in your gameplay. Battlefield 5 encourages you to play with your squad. In the previous installments, only the medic class can revive teammates, but now everyone in your squad can revive, but it will take a longer time compared to a medic's revive.
the spotting mechanics in Battlefield 5 has changed. Previously, spotted enemies has this red icon above their head which tracks their location for the next few seconds. This mechanic is called 3D spotting and it makes it easier for you to aim and kill them as long as you are firing below the red icon. Now to spot an enemy, you just have to press Q when directly aiming at them and when you do so, it will only place a yellow marker on the map to show their current location. There will be no more red icon above their heads. However, there are two ways to 3D spot enemies in Battlefield 5. Firstly, when the enemy is being suppressed and secondly, using the Recon's spotting scope. In my opinion, this makes the game more challenging in terms of locating enemies. There won't be any more easy kills for you to grab because of a red icon appearing and you can blindly shoot at it. Instead, Battlefield 5 forces you to focus on seeing the actual enemy figure and firing at them. Now let's talk about fortifying. This is a new gameplay in Battlefield 5. And no, it's not like Fortnite where you can build walls and stairs to protect yourself. So this is how fortifying works. Every player will have a toolkit which can be accessed by pressing T. Once activated, your character will take out a hammer and you'll be able to see white outlines of different covers that you can build. You just have to go near the outlines, pull down left click and BAM! You build yourself some cover. What type of cover you're getting yourself into can only be determined by the map. So you can't choose what you want to build. But well, that's something new and cool to play with. Battlefield 5 has implemented a more detailed customization for their character and weapons. Now you can pick and choose different color and designs of your character headgear, torso, legs, and face paint. For weapons, there are cosmetic customizations for each part of your gun like the muzzle, handguard, receiver, magazine, and stock. With this system in place, you can design certain cool styles for your character and guns. Lastly, let's talk about the guns in Battlefield 5. Every main weapon has its own rank and the more you use it, the more it'll rank up and unlock different cosmetics and specializations. With specialization, you can choose different upgrades for your gun like lesser vertical recoils, faster aiming down sights, animations, and many more. As for the gunplay in Battlefield 5, where you aim is where you shoot. Meaning that all the guns are hit scan and you do not need to worry about bullet drop or random bullet deviations. Overall, I feel that Battlefield 5 is a game with a lot of potential as the game launched at only 70% of what the game can actually do. There are a lot more content that will be available in the coming months and I am looking forward to try the new Battle Royale mode Firestorm next year. So guys, do check out the 1111 Origin Mega Sale which you can get up to 80% off and join the Battlefield 5 NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Ti giveaway before the 13th of November 2359 which is tonight. So links will be in the description box below. So guys, as usual, let us know if you want to see more Battlefield 5 videos and what other games you would like us to play. Just leave it in the comment section below and we will see you next time. Bye!